The Winter King is supposed to feel like a myth. It's not a retelling of a myth, but it's set in a world defined by the story of Hades and Persephone. When we use the word myth, we're often describing something that didn't happen. Osiris didn't die and come back to life. Hades never stole Persephone. There's no scientific evidence of that. But when we approach a myth that way, we're asking the wrong question. Myths were never meant to be measured on scientific scales. A myth is a story that's appealing to a universal truth, to wisdom that is greater than all of us. As C.S. Lewis pointed out, the really wonderful thing about the Christian myth is that it is completely true. The God-man did come into a physical place and time with physical witnesses. And every myth has some truth in it because they are all shadows of this ultimate myth. Christians can sometimes think that a story needs to mention Christ in order to be Christian. But because truth is universal, we can set our story in any time and any place and have it be true. Lewis does this with Till We Have Faces. It's his retelling of the story of Cupid and Psyche in a Christian framework. What would it look like to have Christ embody the story of Hades and Persephone? In that myth, we have an innocent woman who is, depending on the story, either deceived or stolen by the god of hell. Because of her death, all of creation suffers. She needs to be rescued, and it's this act of bringing her out of hell that sets the world right. Sound familiar? Through myths, through fiction, we can explore universal themes and retell them in a way that's deeply personal. In The Winter King, I'm exploring questions of suffering, poverty, corrupt rulers, and blind faith, and ultimately, what it looks like to struggle, to fail, and to be forgiven. Good stories act like mirrors, giving us a chance to examine our own lives and to help us make sense of the world around us. Which myth, which story are you in right now? Are you like Orwal until we have faces, building a case against the gods based upon your own perceived slights? Are you like Eustace Scrub in the midst of a painful undragoning of your heart? There is truth in the old myths, and when you find it, it will set you free. If you read and loved The Winter King, please leave a review on Amazon.